Good morning, everyone. I am in my kind of half finished office at the moment. And you'll be seeing this in my next video because there's been a whole load of stuff going on in the house. So it's been filmed over a few days. So it'll probably go live next week. I've got a little Lumi sleeping in her new favorite spot next to me. <laughs> Love her. Even if she did keep me up all night. I've got a bit of a fashion video for you today. I'm going to unbox, unbox or unbox? whichever you prefer. I'm going to unbox an order that I've just done and I actually think that this is a really, really good order because I've bought things that I feel are quite practical but also items that are going to like last and stay in my wardrobe because the one thing I'm realizing, especially this year, is the amount of items that I've purchased, especially high-end ones, clothing-wise, that are still relevant in my wardrobe, like, season on season on like literally even the trousers that i'm wearing that you actually can't see but i will show you this is like the second or third year no second year that i'm able to not like able to wear them but like they're in stock they're redone this season so you can buy them the thing that i understand like totally about this industry is like people think they're like the consumption and blah 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 but the biggest thing that i find is that when i wear something that you guys aren't able to buy even if i find you one that's similar you get quite frustrated so even though i try not to to buy as much as i used to oh my gosh i do i do understand the frustration when you're like hold on a minute you're showing us how to style something that we can't actually buy so anyway, I'm hoping I'm not looking too glowy. I've got a ring light on, which I don't usually use. I'm not very good at lighting, so look, there's shadows and everything, and this is just me sat in my office because I really wanted to film down here because the new sofas also made the acoustics in here much nicer. So yeah, hopefully I'm not looking sweaty though. Like, what is that shine on my chin? I have not dribbled. Anyway, I'm gonna get my box, but I'm also gonna show you like how everything looks on. I'm also gonna show you a few of the pieces that I have in my wardrobe that I'm still wearing this season and loving basically. So just pieces that I feel have been money well spent in terms of buying better quality higher end pieces. Although I totally respect because I've seen like both sides of the argument, like fast fashion is terrible. However, there aren't really any affordable or a lot of affordable alternatives. So it's sort of like, well, you know, unless you're a millionaire, how are you supposed to shop sustainable fashion? So I understand, but hopefully if you're able to shop within this kind of area, that these are better options and longer term investments for in your wardrobe. But yeah, anyway, I don't know what that face was. I'm on a weird one today and I've not been well, so my voice keeps doing this. <coughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> it's a horrible sound. Yeah, I've not been very well, so I'm just trying to like get on, still do my work and not faff about too much. So I've put a full face of makeup on, I've put fake tan on, so hopefully that will make me feel a little bit better because I've got stuff to do this weekend, okay? I had stuff to do this week as well, but your girl is not up to it. Anyway, let's go get the box. Eh. Eh. Okay, big box, big, big box, because there's a lot of stuff in here. So let's get it open. The good thing about being in my office means that I have all of the tools that I need to open boxes. So no more using the cheese knife when I'm down here. But hopefully I can get some better lighting sorted. Ooh, it looks like they've changed up their packaging a bit. This says, being effortless is the coolest thing in the world. Stella McCartney. That is my recipite. Obviously, I work with My Teresa, and this is one of my videos in partnership with My Teresa, but I shop there all the time, and you know that. And to be honest, the majority of what is in here, I purchased with my own money. So, yeah. Thank you. This package has been lovingly wrapped by... I don't know who that is. Can you read what that says? I definitely cannot. Okay. Oh, it looks so nice. Okay, first up is my like practical, practical purchase. Why is my husband texting me? Strengthen panels. First thing I told them. <laughs> so this is like my practical purchase and I have actually purchased a coat similar to this before, but the sizing was just bizarre. Like I, I actually need to sell it. So I'm gonna sell my other puffer coat that I have because I can't close it over my boobs. So maybe one of you guys will be able to put it to sort of better use. But yeah, I wanted a, a kind of smart 
but super warm puffer coat for this year because it is cold and it's cold and I don't always want to wear like smart jackets sometimes I just want to pop to the shops in a puffer coat and just be warm and I don't have a nice puffer coat and I saw this one from Burberry and I in all in all honesty I'm not the biggest fan of Burberry at the moment I've got a bone to pick with them not that it affects me in any shape or form but I do know that they used to invite creators and influencers or as I like to call them inspirers to their shows and now they don't invite them and I don't think that's very nice so I never got invited so you don't have to worry about me going but I just think that that's a bit sort of like I don't know it I don't know anyway so this is a black puffer coat from Burberry you're gonna hear all of the the noises by the way I'll just stroke this little pippy head whilst we wait I purchased this in an extra small because I got the extra extra small last time and it was way too small. So I'm going to see how this one looks on. I'm going to try everything on for you as usual. I'll probably try it on to the side of the screen so that it's quicker. Although I might tell you what I think of items, I don't know. But I thought I would unbox them with you first. <laughs> but yeah, this is just something that I wanted to be able to go on walks. But also when you're just having one of those days where you're like, I just want to be warm. I just want to be warm, but I want to look good. But I also don't want to look like I'm going to the office. I just want to be warm and smart and that's it. So I'm going to try it on. This is a longer one. It's got a hood. It's got double sort of breasted buttons. It's got a cinched in waist, which I love a cinched in waist because I don't really have a cinched in waist. So I um, have to do that with help. <laughs> so I'm going to pop that on for you. Next up. Oh, everything's like individually wrapped. They've changed their wrapping. This one is just slopping out next to me. You're right there, chicken. <sighs> I think this is my sort of hero purchase. So let me get it open. Yes, these are a pair of earrings from Isabel Morant. And in all honesty, I don't usually buy costume jewelry. However, I could never afford to buy earrings of this kind with this many diamonds ever, okay? But what I wanted these for, this is another practical purchase. So around this time of year, there are a lot of parties and events and celebrations and it's really lovely. But there's only so many outfits that you have. And I like to wear a lot of black around this time of year. And I just thought that getting some really like gorgeous, oh wow, I love them. Oh yes. Oh yes, so this is exactly what I wanted. They fit really nicely onto like the lobes of your ears so it looks like you've almost got a creeper. But basically, this is just gonna jazz up the plainest of outfits. So I don't know if you've seen my black play suit that I've been wearing recently, it's kind of like a tuxedo. This will just kind of really give it some oomph as an outfit. And I love a little bit of glitz at this time of year and I've got quite a little bit of glitz in this haul actually. But I thought that these were great. These are expensive for costume jewelry earrings, but I wanted something quite particular, something quite glitzy that's gonna dance in the light and look great, like with all of like the sparkle at this time of year. And I really liked them. So just to show you those up close, I'm gonna style these up for you anyway, but I was on the hunt for a very specific type of earring and I have nailed it. Like imagine this with like, hold on, I'm gonna show you. With your hair, kind of in a sleek back bun because it's probably raining here in the UK and oh yes this is what I've been waiting for this is what this is what we wanted I'm so happy yay so that was one of my purchases and they are going to get a lot of love over the next what's well, probably gonna be a lot of love for a while really next up is a per you know what I just can't I I can't do it, okay? I can't do it. Whenever I am on my Teresa, I always find pairs of Christian Louboutins that I love. They have a really lovely selection on there. And I know that it's the shoe brand that I love to hate. And I've got nothing to justify it, okay? They were pretty. And they're probably gonna kill my feet. So I'm trying these out. These are the 120, I think, Pagal. I've had these before, but they look like they might have changed a little bit since I bought them like a hundred years ago. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep these. These may well go back because if they are anything like the first pair that I had, which they definitely don't feel the same. Oh yeah, these are so much better made than my first pair. But 
very very high but i wanted a pair of black leather heels these are so much better made than my first pair like the support if i show you like my first pair of these had like a little bit of elastic that held the back together but yeah oh no these are the so kate so i had the pagal i want to try the 100 millimeter pagal but basically i just wanted a really sexy pair of black leather heels especially at this time of year i feel like a bit of a flash of red on the sole of your shoes just mm, it's just something special that is i'm probably gonna curse them in a few hauls time and i'll say that they were the worst thing that i ever wear but i'll still wear them loads just like i did with my other Louboutins. but i wanted to try them out so i'm gonna try those on style them up see how they look i've never had a pair of so kates so we're gonna see how we get on with those i thought they were quite cute I'm probably going to hate myself soon. I have seen another pair though. So if these ones are too high, I'm going to order the 100 to make them more wearable. Feel free to make fun of me in the comments because I know how ridiculous this is. But I just love them. I love the way they look. And that is, that's where they get you. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Little extra Healy heels because you will need those. <laughs> so that's the shoes. <coughs> misses as usual next up we have more tissue paper okay so this is my little bit of glitz in this haul you know i love a one shoulder top this is from rebecca valance and i thought again that on those days where i just kind of want to zhuzh up maybe a pair of trousers oh it looks really nice See, with this light, you can really see the glitz on this. It's one shoulder, and it's got a little bit of a puff sleeve, and oh, it's not me farting, by the way. It's got a peplum, and it seems to be nicely fitted as well. One sort of long sleeve here, but look at how that danced in the night. Can we go full glitz? Shall we see what full glitz looks like? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So this is just something that I thought would be really useful for any of those events that maybe I haven't planned for or last minute nights out in the festive period. This was a find and actually so far it looks gorgeous. I'm not usually a sequin person but seeing how that is glittering in the light, it's gorgeous. So with black jeans, leather trousers, black suit trousers to the floor satin trousers this is going to look gorgeous even my white half penny trousers this is going to look so nice with so i actually think that that is so so beautiful i'm going to try it on obviously because it might not fit but i re oh, i just can't stop looking at it <laughs> so that's that and then we have oh wow oh no this isn't going to fit i hope it is but i don't think it is so this is a leather skirt from Dorothy Schumacher. It didn't have anything smaller than a size eight. It just looked as though it doesn't come in a size four or six. Remember, I talk about my size just to be helpful, not because I'm boasting. I've been this size for a while. It's kind of worn off when you can't find things that fit. But this was just, I thought would be a cute, because I get so much wear out of my leather trousers, I thought with tights and cute little knit jumpers, even like this one, a fluffy little knit like this would look really cute it doesn't look like oh, i just hit myself in the face <laughs> it doesn't look like it's gonna fit however i could be proven wrong but i would usually wear this on my waist and that doesn't look like it's gonna fit on my waist i love the fact that it's got a raw hem and i don't believe this is real leather let me check no it's not so this is faux leather just like my leather trousers as well feels and looks great though but we shall see if it fits so it's a little bit of a shoe haul in this one. I bought three pairs of shoes. This is a pair of flat military boots from Churches. Now Churches originates from where I live, Northampton, because Northampton is the place where there was a lot of shoes made. It was like the home, the heaven, the whatever of shoes, the, the country or county of shoes, whatever. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But they were bought by Prada, I think. So now you'll find them in place. I remember I was in like, I was in Turin or Torino and um, there was like a church's shop and I was like, eh? But anyway, I saw these. They're very similar to my Todd's military boots. 
but I love my Todd's boots so much. They are a sort of oxblood color and they're an oxblood patent. I really wanted like a black pair. So I spotted these. Oh my God. And they're almost identical, but in black. Oh, well, I love them. I thought these with like a really beautiful, like my Prada handbag or something like that, these are gonna look absolutely gorgeous. Now they're not actually patent, they're kind of that shiny leather, but not patent. Obviously super easy to get into because they have the zip, that was what I looked for. Nice heel on them, but not too much. I'm getting quite used to not having like a huge heel on my flat boots, which is good. I've never had a pair of churches before, so I'll probably have to report back on these though. But if you were looking for a pair of boots that were similar to my Todd's ones, these are perfect. So it'll all be linked in the description box down below, but I can't wait to style these up. So excited. So that is a pair of shoes numero dos. The other pair is black as well, by the way. <laughs> and the next and final pair is from Jimmy Choo. Now I am obviously a big fan of Jimmy Choo. So you might remember that I picked up a pair of Gianvito Rossi boots in the Harrods sale and I used to wear them all the time with my leather leggings, my Joseph leather leggings, which by the way are still in stock on my Teresa. So I'll link them down below, but they'll be when I show you everything. But they are, they're long gone. They are ruined. I've worn them so much. They are just, they're gone. And I saw these from jimmy Choo, and i actually loved them oh my goodness so this is kind of like a sock leather boot which means that when i wear my leather leggings they'll feed into them really nicely but also i could wear these under jeans and they'll be tight sort of to my ankle ish i think these look a little bit too big for my ankles but to be honest i don't wear them with jeans that often but it's you can do it still i was sort of toying between this pair and a pair of christian louboutins and i think that these ones are going to look more seamless with my leather leggings so really really happy with those i really like the heel on them and i love the fact that the tip is already reinforced that's super helpful so that is another sort of pra well i say practical it's all pretty much black is there anything that isn't black in this haul? No, everything is black except for these. Yes, everything is black, but these are the things that I'm like finding comeback season on season and year on year, the items that you can continue to wear and they're still in stock, they're still current. If you're that kind of person that, you know, is bothered by things being current season, then these are great options, but also just getting the wear out of things. So I think this is a really, really good haul and one that I've spent a lot of time kind of thinking about things that I actually needed in my wardrobe and things that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of. So without further ado, let's go pop everything on and also show you the things I still have in like my wardrobe from previous hauls with my Teresa that have been really good money well spent. I have come upstairs to try my bits on. I've started off by trying these earrings on, which I just love. These are gonna look so gorgeous over the festive period. I have tried on the Louboutins. Unfortunately, they have to go back. They're too high for me. I'm not able to like walk properly in them and they're also too small. So I'm gonna order the Pagal 100s, but these are gorgeous. So if you can walk in these, I would absolutely recommend them because they look gorgeous, but they're just a little bit too high for me, unnecessarily high as well, because I just don't need to be that tall. <laughs> I'm over trying to be as tall as I always like hoped I would be. Plus Ali is like, he's much taller than me, but I don't want to be like up there where he is. So I'm definitely keeping these earrings. They are so gorgeous and so perfect. Like even with this jumper, just to like zhuzh up even a casual outfit like this, I love. They're just, they're just gorgeous. I'm just so into like, chandelier earrings at the moment and matching my chandelier behind this is such a cute little outfit but yeah i'm gonna take these off because i don't want to ruin them they're already hurting my toes they're just a little bit too small but i've also popped on my stella mccartney leather trousers i have had these for literally almost a year and a half now maybe two years this is my second pair because i had to size down because i lost some weight and i love them i absolutely love them and these are still in stock online i get so much wear out of them and i know that so many other girls have these as well and they're just 
such a little statement piece they're so great for going out in if you put these with heels they look super chic i love wearing like body suits with them and stuff like that so i'll get a quick little cutaway of these as well because they're so good but yeah these are just an old purchase but they weren't in my little unboxing haul that i just did with you downstairs but i wear them so much such a great staple piece and like i said i bought them nearly two years ago and i still wear them so so much this is the Rebecca Valance top on. I've gone for full glitz. So I've got my glitzy earrings in, my glitzy chandelier, and then this super sequined top. But I actually really like this and I like how it fits. It's nice and tight on the arm. Then it's got the puff sleeve, which looks really, really nice. Then it's got this sort of bit here that really does skim your natural shape. But then it's got this really forgiving little peplum and long bit, which I really like as well. I've teamed it with some plain black, like, cropped jeans. But I think that this would look really nice. You know, with my Sophia flared trousers, it would also be really good for New Year's to wear something like that as well. But it fits nice and, like, smoothly on my arm. There's no kind of, like digging in or anything like that. It's a really flattering silhouette. Really nice for the festive season as well. And just a little bit of glitz. I'm feeling very glitzy this year. I've got another glitzy dress coming as well. Yeah, really, really like this. Very, very me. And I love it with the earrings. Can't have too much glitz apparently. <laughs> I can always tell just by looking at things when they aren't going to fit properly and as predicted the 8 is just too big on the waist because it's supposed to be worn quite high up like that so that you get this sort of tulip style skirt but it's just a little bit too loose unfortunately. Sad that they don't make it in any smaller sizes although I might check online see if they've got it but I'll link it in the description box down below but what I wanted to do was wear it in this really sort of like glitzy way. Again another cute outfit for winter. I've teamed it with some Jimmy Choo shoes as well and then my Dior Lady Dior bag. I'm going to show you in the cutaways just to give you a better idea of the outfit but obviously you'll see me holding the back of the skirt and it won't look great but if you are a size 8 then this skirt is a winner I love it and you'll get the wear out of this throughout winter you can wear tights with it and put some sock boots as well you can put thicker knitted jumpers in there or you can put like body suits and stuff like that so there's multiple ways that you can wear this and I always find that faux leather skirts are timeless but this is just such a cute little festive outfit I'm so gutted that it doesn't fit me I wonder if I can have it taken in yeah it just kind of loses its specialness when I let go unfortunately but love it otherwise I'll still link it down below but just to give you an idea cute little nude accessories and a fluffy little jumper and some spandangly earrings which I feel like I never want to take off lovely okay the earrings are still in and I've just realized that these earrings are such a great little thing to have in your handbag if you're like having a day at work and you want to just judge up your outfit for maybe like an evening event or something like that just sticking these on with like a plain black outfit will instantly give it a more like luxurious and evening feel so they're a great thing to just keep in your handbag especially during the festive season but the Jimmy Choo boots are a win with my Joseph leather leggings. These are also still in stock. These are always in stock. These are such a great purchase. I've had these for at least three or four years now. Still going strong and still getting so much wear. And I've wanted that sort of seamless look with the boots, but my Gianvito Rossi ones broke the leather ripped on them. So I was on the hunt for a pair exactly like these from Jimmy Choo and I found them and actually they are really nice and tight around my ankle so I could wear them under straight cut kind of cropped jeans or trousers. They look really nice with that. I always find that they go nicely with a peplum top because they don't have any pockets. They are leggings to keep them more flattering on me personally. I find that peplums or longer line tops with these looks really nice. This particular style with the leather leggings and boots looks really nice for daytime as well so you can pop this with a cardigan which I'll probably style up next and just show you how I style it with like a bonbon cardigan so that it looks nice and cute in the daytime but I've just popped this little peplum top on from Anna Mason with a nude bag and the earrings still so everything is looking super glitzy and glam at the moment but I love it and these are so many good outfits that I'm going to be able to wear when I've got events and things like that which I'm sure lots of you will have as well but these boots are a win and they feel super comfortable as well I've put some little pop socks on with them and they're a great height I'm not too like oh so I'll be able to wear these all day I can already feel that which is great 
Just wanting to show you it styled up a little bit more casually. These are the Jimmy Choo boots with the Joseph leggings and also a previous purchase from my Teresa is this Bonman cardigan. I don't think it's in stock at the moment but they do sometimes have similar ones and this was a great find. So warm and yet structured and smart. But this is just another way that I would style up this particular outfit because it's easy and it's warm and it looks really nice. This is a great one for meetings and very, very flattering on your legs. So these are the church's boots on. Now these are gonna definitely take some wearing in because they're super rigid, like way more rigid than the Todd's ones, but I really do like them. I love the black. I love how like smart they look, yet they're military boots. I've paired them up with a skirt and a polo neck and then my dual bag, but I think they look so cute. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to wear them in. I've got the widest feet in the world, so I've really had to loosen up the laces on them, but they are still quite tight. But I had to do the same thing with my Todd's ones, even though they weren't as rigid as these, I did have to wear them in and it looks like I'll have to do the same with these but they look so cool. And it's cute to kind of put them with a skirt because it obviously contrasts really nicely with the kind of androgynous vibes of the boots as well. So it's super feminine up top and then a little bit, a little bit grungy down the bottom. And then because my bag has a little bit of a shine to it, it goes really nicely with the texture of the boots. So I'm really, really happy. And finally, the practical purchase of the day, my puffer coat from Burberry, and it is perfect. I am so happy with this. It fits so nicely, and I've knotted it like I would a Burberry mat because it's got the double-breasted style to it. It's super warm and cozy. It looks actually really nice with my church's boots as well, so it'd be good for when the really cold weather comes. I've teamed it with my Dior bag as well. The hood is completely detachable, which is great, so if it's like obviously not raining, then I can take that off, and then it's got the Burberry check under the collar so you can stick that up and it still feels really sort of smart but it's warm and that oh my god the pocket is fleecy <gasps> that feels so good <laughs> but yeah I'm super happy with this and it's actually a much better length than my other one so I can sell that one and it fits nicely and I can get a jumper underneath it and it's warm did I mention that it's warm it's really warm I'm really happy with this this is gonna get so much wear and it's gonna go in my new boot room which hasn't been built yet, but you can see it soon. <laughs> this is the aftermath of my little haul. <laughs> Boxes everywhere, stuff everywhere, but the skirt and the Le Boutins will be going back. I'm gonna send those back and get a refund, I think, because obviously the skirt doesn't come in a size that I want and the shoes are not the right shoes. And until the right shoes are in stock, I'm not gonna obviously exchange them, but I have seen that they've got a Christian Louboutin edit specifically. I will link to the Christian Louboutin edit in the description box down below because there are so many gorgeous shoes and I know, I know that I continuously go on about this, but you know, I just love those shoes and sometimes they're good and like my Chelsea boots are amazing. I love my Chelsea boots from Christian Louboutin. They're so comfortable, they look amazing, but Sometimes the heels maybe not so much, but I'll link them anyway because I love them and I continue to buy them But yeah, that'll all be linked in the description box down below in the description box down below because I can't get my words out ever on this channel and all of the outfits and everything like that will be linked and you'll be able to shop them and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this haul I will leave it here because otherwise I will ramble on forever and ever and ever and a day. So Everything will be linked. I'll see you in my next video. Bye